little explorers, and welcome to a magical winter wonderland. Oh! Are you ready to have some fun with snowballs? Great, let's get started. Look, here's our first snowball. One big, round snowball. Now another one rolls in. That makes one, two, snowballs. Let's keep going. Three, four, five. Wow. Five snowballs, all in a row. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Let's add some more. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We have ten wonderful snowballs. Let's count them all together. Nice and loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're amazing at counting. Now, let's play a memory game. I'm going to hide a number on each snowball. Can you find the number one? There it is. How about number five? You found it. Matching numbers is so much fun. Let's try some simple snowball math. If we have two snowballs and we add one more, how many do we have? That's right, we have three snowballs. Two plus one equals three. You're a math whiz. Look at these two snowballs. Can you tell me which one is big and which one is small? Yes, this one is big and this one is small. You have such sharp eyes. Wait a minute. I think there are shapes hidden in our snowballs. I see a star. Can you see a circle? And look over there, a heart. We can even decorate our snowballs with different colors. Let's make this one red, this one blue, and this one bright yellow. They look so beautiful. <laughs> look who's here. Some friendly snow pals have come to play. Let's count how many there are. One, two, three. Snow friends. What if one snow friend hides behind a tree? How many are left? Two. You're right. But wait, where did our numbers go? Let's put them back in order. One, two, three. What's missing? Number four. There it is. You are so good at finding missing numbers. We've counted up to ten. So now let's try counting backward. It's like a rocket launch. Are you ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. That was so exciting. Let's play another game. Here are some snowflakes. Can you match the number four to the group with four snowflakes? Perfect. You got it. Now, look at this row of snowballs. There's a pattern. Big, small, big, small. What comes next? A big snowball. Yeah! Excellent job. Let's try another pattern. Red, blue, red, blue. What's next? A red snowball. Your pattern superstar. It's time for a snowball toss. Let's try to toss the snowball into the basket with the number three. Ready? Aim. Toss. You did it. Tossing snowballs helps us get better at coordinating our hands and eyes. Now let's sort our snowballs. We can put all the big ones in this pile and all the small ones in that pile. We can also sort them by number. Let's compare. This pile has five snowballs and that pile has three. Which pile has more? The pile with five. And which one has less? The pile with three. You understand more then and less than perfectly. Now, let's get creative and build a snowball tower. Let's stack them up high. One, two, three, four, five. Snowballs tall. What a great tower. Look down at the snow. I see some animal footprints. Let's count them. One, two, three, four little footprints. I wonder what animal made those. And what's hiding behind that big snow pile? It's the number seven. Peekaboo, number seven. Now, can you tell me if two is an even or odd number? It's even. What about three? It's odd. You're learning so much today. Let's try one last challenge. We'll find all the numbers in a snowy maze. Follow the path and find the numbers one through 10. You did it. You are a counting champion. You've learned to count, compare sizes, find patterns, and so much more. 
You should be very proud. Math is an adventure, and you are a brilliant explorer. Thanks for playing in the snow with me today. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun learning adventures. See you next time. Bye.